Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're going to upgrade that old horrible little pink nano tank to this one. You can see how we did it. Right, so I've got the tank, the new tank that's going to be there, a couple of, not repairs, but amendments to make. I wasn't happy with the pump that was in here before, so in this section at the back, um, there was a pump, now a heater, we don't need that just now, but there was a pump in here and it just, I'm not sure whether it was cutting out or not, but I wasn't happy with it, so we're going to swap it over. So I've got a new pump here. Um, and this is the nozzle that goes on this side, so that clips into there, makes a water. That sits in there and makes a watertight seal. It should. Why is that not working? That sits in there and makes a watertight seal. Um, and then this goes on the other end. But unfortunately, the two sides are exactly the same, so I can't connect it like that. So I'm going to get a little bit of tubing and use that to put on there. But tubing that I have handy is also exactly the same size, so it doesn't quite fit. So we're going to do a bit of retrofitting. I have a um, mug here full of hot water. Dip the end of this in the hot water, it makes it easier to mould it to the way you need it, or more pliable. So just leave that in there for a few seconds and I'll fit this. So as you can see, that just makes that a little bit more pliable. Is it going to be pliable enough? Yes. So. What an idiot that comes with. <laughs> I'd opened the packet for the pump and it came like this, but it came with this as well and I thought, what is the point of that? It doesn't fit on the end, it only fits in that way which makes it the same size. Just didn't get it. I've just realised that if you pull this, it comes off and the new one fits in, making this just slot straight on top. Um, never said there was an expert. So I decided to stick with a bigger one anyway because it was giving me a better fit there, but as you can see it properly fitted. Obviously I made that tubing far too big to fit in this space, so I'll cut that down and we'll now attempt to get the send on. So same cup of hot water, dip it in for a few seconds and then we'll try and get it on there. There we go. So once you get a little bit on, it pushes down fairly easily all the way around and then when that cools properly that will be solid as a rock. So I can put the pump in Feed this through the hole, and then we'll be good to go. Right, gonna have to rethink that slightly. So when I get it all in place, this is the so that's the output. And if you imagine the pump stuck on the end of this, because it's such a tight space in the back of the tank, it does that, which crimps the hose. So you're not going to get any water flow through there, or very little anyway. So I've had to have a little bit of a rethink and. I dig around in my random drawer of crap and I found this which is actually, I think is off a garden irrigation kit for hoses and hose lock um, but it's the same size as these fittings that we're doing so what I'll do is I'm just going to cut this here put this pretty much straight on it have it going straight down and hopefully that will be able to keep the flow rate up just give you something like this so, pump, no restrictions, accurately measured by myself. Right, that's this 
as ready as it's going to be. I've got media in there. I've got about three, possibly four bags of Alpha Grog and some Bio. Um, I'm going to swap out one of them from an established tank, so as I've got a full cycle straight away or help the cycle get started. So all I need to do now is get rocks, plants, livestock and substrate from the little pink tank, which is this one, into that tank, because I want to reuse this substrate because it's the, the planted tank substrate. We'll get started moving things across. Cherry shrimp. I only put in about half a dozen or so. Oh. They're going mental in there. So, oh, there's still a few more in there. I'll keep trying to fish out the last few. There's still a few more in there. Uh, and then we'll get the substrate transferred across. Shrimp are not easy to catch. All the water drained from that one, all the substrate's drill in it. I've added a small bag of black gravel that I had in there because this tank is slightly bigger. And now I need to get this over here. And I have some inappropriate tools and I'm not afraid to use them. So, no idea if this is going to make a huge mess or if it's going to work perfectly, but let's try it out. There we go, that's it. Everything's moved across. Um, it's just a very basic, there's no aquascaping going on there. I've just chucked in the rocks, the plants, and all the livestock. It's still a bit cloudy, but we'll just let it clear. Um, hopefully, we can do a video soon about how to actually set up a shrimp tank properly. Um, but I might need some help from someone out there if you know who you are. But yeah, I think the office is now coming together. Let me show you around. So, as you walk in, we've got my salt water tank. Just down there, everyone's looking good. And I said in the last video that I noticed someone was digging something. It's the damsels. I don't know what they're at, but they really hate this candy cane coral because they keep digging it up and they've just done it again. Then we move over here, we've got my kind of command center -y type bit. Um, various PCs and servers and things going on there. Um, CCTV, so this is where I do most of my work. And I've got, that's kind of my viewpoint. Turn left, I've got the salt water tank. Turn right, we've got the new tank. So that's it for now. I think that'll do us for today. And like I say, I'm hoping I can set this up a little bit better, but that'll be in a future video. And for now, we'll leave it there.